guys. Fighter right here. Feels like a good one too. Decent fish. Right off the bottom a little bit. Oh, starting to fight now. Got a little bit of waves too. <laughs> All right, guys, doing something a little different today on that neck breaker and big Senko. <laughs> big Senko worm here. Got a sculpin. Hey, that's cool. Anything that bites, I want to catch. Good one right here. Let's let this beautiful sculpin back in the water. Fishing that one ounce on the bottom with that big worm. Seems like something that could be working on the dead stick. Just a worm bouncing on the bottom. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Not even like a solid bite. He's just slurping on that worm. Oh yeah, it's a heavy fish. Dude, giant sculpin. <laughs> Somehow, somehow I'm the sculpin master right now. This thing is a beast, dude. That guy's, it's a solid one, man. Look at this thing. Oh. What's the record on these things? What's the world record? <laughs> That's a heavy sculpin. It's like two and a half, three pounds, something like that. He looks kind of, he's not huge, but he's very heavy. Again, on that neck breaker, big worm presentation. <laughs> Trying something a little different today. Ow. All right, there he is. Yeah, full size sculpin, big old tail and fins. Got the evening bite going. Hey, that's a nice one. <laughs> Down to the bottom he goes. And this is what I have rigged up right now. A neck breaker, one ounce, with a seven and a half inch Senko worm. This is the floating style Senko. So when the war bait's on the bottom, the tail is floating up in the water column. Easy, easy bite for those fish. Something that they would normally eat. I want you to see this. I got a little bit skim hooked right there. So the hook is closer to the body of the worm. Skim hooking the worm. We'll make a better presentation when that bait is down on the bottom. Nose down, tail up. <laughs> All right. Made a judgment call. We're reeling them up, reel the lines up. I mean, there's a couple of other things we can do here. This is pretty impromptu. The other stuff I was fishing just was not biting. So uh, I'm out here. Might as well go for it and do everything possible to get bit. Water 61 and a half, and the tide is flooding into the bay. So right now I'm going against the tide. I'm gonna get to that stuff still at high tide. I'm gonna fish a lot of it. I will still have enough time to, hopefully, to drift in with that high tide. So I do have a time limit. Can't be out there all night long. Meaning I want to come back with the tide. If I'm going against the tide, it's going to be a very long night. And I don't want that. Check a couple other deep spots and see if something over there is biting. And I mean, I'm hoping to get on a pretty big patch of fish somewhere. All right, guys, we made it out here. About 10 feet of water right on the corner here. Gonna get parallel with, let that swim bait sink out to the rock structure. Bring that bait through and over those rocks. Hopefully there's some sort of predator fish down there ready to bite. 
A lot of current, some waves out here. Line up and fish parallel with it. Hopefully we can get something. I always love coming out here. It's so fun, especially on the kayak. It's like, it's such a mission to come out here. Oh, that was a bite. That was a bite, a little tail biter. I missed him. A little tail biter, guys. Missed him. So there's something out here. Try to keep that going. So now we're looking for big sand bass and big calico bass. That's, that's the ticket. There we go, guys. Oh, he's in the stuff. He's in the stuff. It's a big one. It's a big fish. It's a big fish, guys. I gotta get him away from the. He's in the structure. Big calico. Oh yeah, decent one guys, decent one. Decent one guys. Like better than decent. Like big. Look at that calico bass right there, man. That's the real deal. <laughs> Night fishing, San Diego Bay. Just bringing that swim bait right over. The Getting that bite. Yeah, solid one. <laughs> Key there was swimming that swim jig over that rock structure. So we're gonna go back up into that area. There is some wash. It's creating a lot of surge and current and those bass like that surge and current so those bass stage up on the rock structure to eat whatever comes off the wall so maintaining contact with the structure is very important it's only 12 feet of water right here and i'm, I'm off the edge i'm in the sand pretty heavy duty rock structure here cast up pretty shallow and then let it fall back down to the next step that bass hit it and started running back into that structure so you got to have the drag locked down a little bit get that fish out of the structure so you don't get hung up you don't get broken off felt like a bite you guys can hear that through that surge it's the waves going over the rocks There we go, good one, good one. Another bite, that was right off that structure. Again, right off the rock. Doesn't feel as heavy as the other one, but hey, I think we found a little bit of something here. Got yeah, another calico bass. Yeah, we found something. A little one here guys but we did get another calico same swim bait swimming it right over that structure got another bite right there there we go guys another good one another good bite this time the bait was closer to where the rocks meet the sand on that bite Good to get one though. Let's take a look at him. Not a giant one. Still a calico. Right? Nighttime calico. That's good. That's fun. Smaller fish though. And I'm fishing a pretty dark presentation here. Three quarter ounce war baits neck breaker in Cosmos and a five inch kicker swim bait in their black color. We're getting bites on the darker stuff at night. There we go. And he smacked on the drop. Not a big one, but still, we're still getting on him. 
which is very, very good. Another calico bass. Heck yeah. Love calico bass. So nice fish right there. Kind of a little guy, but it's such a gamble to come out here. And when it bites, it's, to it's a total payoff. Get these gloves on. I should probably put my jacket on too. I'm just in the sweatshirt right now. I mean, it's not freezing out here, but it's starting to get cold. The neck breaker's super effective. The rocks, it's just coming through all these snags and gnarly cracks, super easy. A lot of water moving right now. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and make a move right now. I've kind of reached the point where it turns into, it turns from calico bass into spotted bay bass. I typically don't catch any bigger calicos up in the shallower section of the wall. There are still some calico bass, but they're just not that big. Not to say that there's not a big one there. You never know. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the tide and move up the line, and maybe we'll get into a few more bites. There we go, guys. Got one off the bottom here. Heavy, heavy, rolling. Could be a sand bass. Making my way in, checking spots here. Yeah, nice sand bass. There we go. Sand bass, deep drop, deep structure, paying off that high tide, full moon action right here. Take her off the bottom. There we go. Feels a little funkified, kind of wrapped up or something. Sand bass. There we go, another sand bass. Haha. <laughs> another click right there. Get them in. Wind's picking up. We're about to hit our curfew here. We need to get off this bay at a certain time, or that low tide is gonna make life difficult getting back to the dock. That turned out to be a really fun bite. I got on a little bit of that evening bite on that sculpin, got on those calico bass, caught that one really nice fish. Always good to catch a bass like that. I think you guys are gonna find what I used to get bit today pretty interesting. So let me go ahead and show you what I used. I was using a custom rod that I built my wife a couple years ago. It's a 7.3 Heavy that she uses for calico bass. Overall, this is a good rod, and I think it's perfect for that 3 quarter ounce to 1 ounce war bait head or neck breaker. And the bait I was using for that rock structure is a war bait neck breaker 3 quarter ounce in Cosmos. And the swim bait I was using is a Kicker PK5 in their cotton mouth color. It's a black with a blue flake. Really nice silhouette to fish out at night. That bait got a ton of bites and lasted all night. And on those sculpin, I was using a one ounce neck breaker in our custom painted color by Soul Cal Fishing. This color will be on the website in a few days. And the bait I was using is an eight inch floating worm, dark green with red flake color. I got a report that the sand bass were eating worms off the bottom. So I decided to give this bait a try. I got a couple sand bass in the evening and a couple of those sculpin. Really fun way to fish the neck breaker and really interesting soft bites on this worm style plastic. Hey, thanks again for all the support. You're giving war baits and this channel. We're growing and it's because of you guys. The online store is busy daily and we are shipping store orders weekly. Thanks for all that support on the Instagram and on these YouTube videos. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and we'll get back to those. And as always, get out there, go fishing, hook that giant.